Yeah, guns. I lose liberals on, on guns. I would like to, before I even talk about this, like say that like I am afraid of guns, but it turns out the cops are too. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lesson are we supposed to learn from Uvalde, right? From Uvalde, Texas. Are we supposed to just, like, it's always got to be a good guy with a gun? That's the only way to stop it, right? The, everyone's, every, it's just, the whole country's going to be good guys with guns. Just everywhere you go, freeze, motherfucker, you freeze. I'm already frozen. Just fucking. <laughs> also, if it's up to us to stop guns, you know, speeding kills thousands of people every year. We supposed to stop that, too? Like, we're supposed to run them off the road? Like, if we see a speeder coming up, and we're like, you know what they say, the only thing that stops a bad guy in a car is a good guy in a car. <laughs> yeah, my, my problem with guns is I don't buy either side's arguments completely, right? So the conservative argument is that guns are written in the Constitution because the Founding Fathers thought if all the citizens have guns, then the government will have to do what they say, or else the people will rise up and fight the government, right? Which is a legitimately great idea in the 1700s. But <laughs> the problem is there's still people now hoarding weapons, thinking that at some point they may need to take on the American military, and they think they have a shot, right? <laughs> and look, maybe they're right, which is why I'm proposing we test their theory and once a year have a head-to-head -head showdown. <laughs> Say a, a hundred members of the NRA versus, I don't know, two members of the military. <laughs> Broadcasted on Fox Christmas Day. <laughs> like, Merry Christmas and welcome to the 2022 NRA military showdown. Let's go down to the field of battle, meet one of our NRA combatants. Sir, what's your name? What kind of weapon do you work with? And he's like, my name's Andy Baker. And I got an AR-15 wearing Kevlar head to toe. Andy, how confident are you scale of one to 10? Fucking a million. <laughs> We're gonna check in with the military real quick, and they cut to one guy by himself in a bunker, and he's like, uh, my name's Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Walker. And they're like, Jeremiah, what kind of weapon you work with? And he's like, look, I don't know if this is fair, but I'm working with a, a drone. <laughs> yeah, it's equipped with eight Hellfire missiles and a high-powered camera. As you can see on this monitor here, the NRA fellas are actually in just one big cluster. <laughs> So, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we started? All right. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna hit this button right here. Yeah, now they're all dead. That'll do it for this year's NRA Military Showdown. Brought to you by Whole Foods. By the way, you know the NRA guys would be like, we can take him next year, we just gotta split up. <laughs> so that's the conservative argument. And then the liberal argument is that, uh, that the gun stats in America are just horrifying, right? And they are on their face, right? 40,000 gun deaths a year, which is awful. But you know what they never tell you? You know how many of those are suicides? Two thirds are suicides, right? No one ever knows that. So, Whenever there's a, a mass shooting on television, which are legitimately tragic, liberals always run on TV and say, we don't need mental health care, we need common sense gun control. No, how about both, right? How about one question at the point of sale, find out who's depressed, who isn't, and two thirds of gun deaths right there, right? Guy comes in and they go, sir, before we sell this weapon, can we just look at your browser history real quick? <laughs> and they go, sir, you've been listening to Lana Del Rey. <laughs> and staring at pictures of your ex-girlfriend. Sir, we're not gonna give you a gun today, <laughs> but we are gonna give you a bag of mushrooms and a copy of Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> You're gonna be back on your feet and talking with your butt cheeks in no time, sir. <laughs> so now we're down to about 13,000 gun deaths a year, which is atrocious. But by the way, you know how many people the flu kills in the amateur? 50,000. So if you're worried about you're gonna be murdered by a gun, think about how scared you are of dying from the flu. You're not. <laughs> Divide it by three, and I'll meet you there. <laughs>
by the way, do you see how I think myself into isolated asshole positions? <laughs> about pretty much everything for as long as I can remember. Even I hear myself sometimes, I'm like, dude, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> I gotta be the only person who has ever asked the question, Neil, would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? And I was like, oh. 